Hey guys, and welcome back to uh, Deep Fear. When we last left off, we got to a new area, and we met some crazy woman with a shotgun who seemed to, uh, well, she saved us, so that was good. We also found a, a hamburger, which I guess was good, and then that young lady went off with her shotgun to find her dog, called Rambo. Anyway, let's start exploring. So, we're on floor one, I guess. Oh, makes sense to go to floor two next. Process of elimination. Might as well do it in order. Oh, we also found another magazine for our SMG, I believe. Which was nice. We like SMG bullets, because you need 600,000 of them to kill a single enemy. Ooh. Ooh, damn it. More of these, like, weird little... Things. Not sure what I think about these things. Oh wait, no, I am sure. They suck, and I hate them. I really hate them. I hate them with such passion. Oh dear. That reloading really screws you over. Alright, let's get out of here. Kinda wanna kill them. Because they are monumentally annoying. So, let's take this bad boy out. Uh, okay. Try and get a camera angle where we can see what we're doing. Yeah, they're weird little things. Okay. So, right. They're not exactly those little bouncer things that we had before. Curious. I mean, they're bad enough. But they're not quite those annoying little things. Right, well, let's try this door. Projection room. Okay. What, pray tell, is in the projection room? Let me guess. Projection equipment. It's a video deck. If you had a videotape, you can watch it here. Okay. Videotapes. Remember those? I remember those. I remember wearing one of those out. Several of those out, actually. Um, a large video screen, probably for the entertainment of the troops. Well, I mean, I wouldn't exactly call that large by today's standards, but yeah, sure, sure. Maybe we could go watch Rambo or something. Deep Blue Sea, maybe? What about Waterworld? That was a good one. Guilty pleasure, that film. Good old Waterworld. Man, I watched that quite a lot as a kid. This is, I was going to say, is this the toilet? Yes, it is. It's the lavatory. What horrors lie within? Is this a unisex toilet? It looks like it. No, I guess we're not able to wash our hands. Oh, it's on the floor there. Oh, hello. Hey, we've got a grenade. Excellent. I like grenades. Now, admittedly, we don't have to kill this guy, but it seems like a bit of a disservice to let him go. Well, the SMG is growing on me, slowly. The only trouble with it is you need such a large quantity of ammo for it to be useful. Is that what's in here? A grenade? I mean, I guess, I guess a grenade's cool, but it seems a little bit weak source. I want something nice. I want a shotgun. Are we going to have to wait for that Annabelle girl to die before we get a shotgun? I mean, it's possible, I suppose. What's through door number two? Ah, the mess hall. Maybe there's more hamburgers in here. <gasps> Maybe a hot dog. Glutton, it says. Okay. And there is some very obvious rustling. There's, th there, 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 what? Okay, that hurts my head. That is a typo. There are the re re magazines here. You can't take them with you. Okay, cool. Reads, buy food ticket here. All right, well, I don't want a food ticket because I got a hamburger. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Okay.
Ja. For that, I'll tell you that the torch is in the DN area. Come with me to the CCD area. It should be safer there than here. No, I don't like Nebuko. Besides, I have this. <coughs> I'll return to the DN area. Your own area is the safest. I'll give you this. Ooh. It's the DN area spare key. Use it. I uh, thank you. That was a very strange cutscene. A very strange looking dog that really didn't like being picked up. Okay, so we've got the DN key. Do we know where we need the DN key? I don't know that we do. What's in the jukebox? There's a jukebox here. Seriously, there's a jukebox there and we can't do anything with it. Well, I mean, we found a dog. And we fed the dog. It's always good when you can feed a dog. Uh, or any animal, for that matter. Apart from monsters. Do the monsters count as animals? And technically, feeding ourselves to them, does that count? Probably not. Right. So, what have we... Ah, so there's still one room we haven't been in yet. Okay. So, what have we got going on? Ah, shower room. Don't think we've been in the showers yet. Hopefully nobody drops the soap, because that would be awkward. Yep. Looks all innocent in here. Bit of ominous droppage going on, but that's okay. Ooh. Oh, another grenade. Cool. I don't trust it. What about put the piece away? We can't examine if we have the piece waving around in front of us. Okay, so just a grenade seems a bit weird. There doesn't seem to be an awful lot of stuff to pick up in this game. I'm guessing grenades are going to be very powerful and we're going to want to hold on to those. So, the shower had a grenade. Okay. Uh, that's the CCD? CCD area. That is not what we have, is it? We have the DN. Right. Well, I guess we're going to go up to the next floor. Oh, what does that say? Does that tell us everything? That probably tells us what all these different rooms are, but we can't read it because, you know, video game. Alright, let's go to floor three. Our final floor of this area. I'm guessing this is where we can move on to the next area? Question mark? I'm sure we'll find out. was a storage area. I like storage areas. Generally there are ammo in storage areas. Not always. Actually, no, always, I think. Ooh. This is spoopy. Oh, okay. Alright, well, I mean, we've got a save area, which is nice. Ugh, and we can get a little bit of oxygen going, and I do mean a little bit of oxygen going. That was a little bit sad, but we take what we can get. Right. I guess we're going to load up with ammo. I wonder if there's anything else here. Bullets. Nice. There must be a hell of a lot of ammo stored up here for some reason. Oh, Anna's letter. You've obtained the weapon card. Ooh, for shotgun B. Hey, rescue guys. There's no way you're going to get those monsters with the weapons you have. Here's a weapon card for you guys. Be careful and good luck. Anna, 
Lawrenson. Well, thank you, Anna. You know, I've been griping this whole time about how useless my... Um, ah, I see. That's why it says three, because that's the third weapon. Right. Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll take the Mossberg. I mean... Ooh. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's six shells before we have to reload. Yeah. Alright, not bad. Like I say, it can't be any worse than the bloody uh, weapon that we've already used. So, it does make me wonder, have we missed a weapon somewhere? I kind of hope not. I'm also hoping... Ooh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> the... There's nothing left. It'd be nice if I could get a shotgun expansion. Oh, do we want the shotgun or the submachine gun? Because we're probably able to carry, what, 220 submachine gun rounds now, which is quite significant. <clears throat> the only thing is, oh, there's 99 air here. That's a lot of air, apparently. Yeah, the only thing is, I think 36 shotgun shells is going to run dry pretty bloody fast. But then, you know, if it only takes one or two shells to bring down an enemy, oof, it's probably going to be worth the trade-off. As opposed to expending like a whole magazine trying to take something down. And then some. Yeah, that's not very efficient, like, at all. Ooh. Ooh. The VTR2. Okay. VTR2. Sure. Yes! Shell box. Okay, so each shell box allows us to increase our ammo by... Looks like 12. Oh, no, not 12. 8. Yeah, because if we had 36, we now... Yeah. No. Oh, God. Hello. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'm on board with this shotgun. Now, is there a way of reloading, though? Maybe not. Yeah, I'm on board with this shotgun. Alright, so we got a videotape. And we've also sprayed some, like, mutant brains. Danny's room, the door is locked. Damn you, Danny, you absolute dick. Ah. That a, that's a DN room, isn't it? Oh, the ladies' room. How comes one's called a lavatory and one's called a ladies' room? Seems a bit strange. Ooh. Ow. How are we doing? Not very well, apparently. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think the shotgun's better. I think. Ah, right. It must just be the ladies' room, as in this is where the ladies sleep. Got ya. I'm picking up what you're putting down, game. Uh, but before I put down too much more, let's chew down some F8 sprays because our health is pretty, pretty low. I guess we'll just use. We'll use three. I mean, it doesn't take too much to get these back. Now, any shotgun shells? Ooh, resuscitation kit. Still not sure what the resus kit does. I don't know whether it actually brings you back, you know, to life or other. Maybe it's just like a huge healing. I'm not sure. Ooh, grenade. Lovely. These ladies know how to pack heat. That's for sure. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here, but then I suppose 
No, nothing in the lockers. All right, that's not bad. Happy with that. So, e yeah, so I guess each shell box is going to give you like a full set of ammo, which isn't too bad, I suppose. Still one room we haven't explored. Oh, that's Danny's room, isn't it? We still haven't explored Danny's room. Because Danny's a dick. Now, I'm guessing we could... Is that DN? It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, DN area. Cool. All right. So we know we can go in there, but let's go downstairs first and watch that videotape. See if there's anything cool on it. Probably something cool. Mutants and monsters, maybe. Hopefully it's not your dad's porno. Let's load up on rounds before we move on, though. <clears throat> right, what have we got? Give me some bullets. Yeah, we can hold 210 rounds for that now, which is quite nice. Hmm, I do wonder if we've missed some weapons somewhere. That would be sucky. But I don't think so, because this game hasn't really mentioned weapons, has it? And I'm surprised that they're not doing more with the... Um, respawning enemies considering you have basically unlimited ammo and uh, health as long as you remember where the pickups are you you know you're never really hurting for resources so they could have done a lot more with that but you know whatever is what it is i suppose uh that's the food hall i think that's the showers at least you can make out what each room is supposed to be, I guess. Just, I mean, that's kind of a bit rough. Projection room. <clears throat> right, let's go watch a videotape. The exciting technology of tomorrow. Uh... Uh, sexual body. It's literally your dad's porno, apparently. Uh, C Fox. Yeah, it's called Sexual Body, the tape. There was not a lot of sexy bodies in that, if you ask me. The label says sexual body. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, I, I guess there's something we're missing there, but whatever. Maybe it's for those submarine nerds out there. There are submarine nerds out there. You know who you are. Okay, so we're going to have to come back at some point anyway with a CCD card. Got you. Now, I might be able to squeeze off one more video today of this game. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, I'm actually quite far ahead of my recordings tomorrow. Only actually, well, four tomorrow. I only actually have to do four Skies of Arcadia. So, and I've got the whole day free. So, I think I'm going to sit down and finish this game. If I can, in one sitting. I can't imagine it's going to be the longest game in the world. Um, but I'm really bloody enjoying it. I have been requested to do uh, Vampire Hunter D on the original PlayStation. Uh, I had that, but well, I didn't have it. My stepbrother had it. And uh, I did see quite a lot of it. Not the whole game, but we did kind of complete it together-ish. I mean, I can't really remember much about it, but uh, Vampire Hunter D. Okay, interesting. Oh, we have monsters. Oh my. Looks like there is... Oh god. Okay, I was going to say, it looks like there's some kind of like damage fall off with this gun. As you'd expect. Well, he's a big boy. 
Okay, I like the shotgun. The shotgun's way better. I mean, there is, um, there doesn't appear to be much of a damage fall off. You know, at the end of the day, it's a shotgun, you know. Shotguns aren't as short ranged as these games make them out to be. You know what I mean? A shotgun is fucking lethal. <laughs> Ooh, we've got some oxygen in here. Let's chuck an air grenade. That is not an air grenade. Apparently. Uh, wait, we've got seven grenades? I guess you pick them up in packs of four. And now we can hold 15 air grenades. Is our in inven inventory getting bigger? Maybe not. I'm not sure. I thought we could only hold eight. Now, I wonder if the oxygen actually does weaken these guys. Um, looking at that result, it's possible. Unless we hit them with our grenade. Which is also possible. So these things are pretty mutated. Get some more air out there. Yeah. So it seems like the more air that's in a room, the weaker these monsters are. Which, if that is actually true is a really cool mechanic okay so those big blue things are a little bit rougher communicator room shouldn't it be like the communications room oh, communicator room what was that like one star trek communicator here oh gas we don't like gas damn it Okay, so these guys don't actually hurt that much, but when your shotgun shells are going through the enemy, that's a bit of a problem. Yeah, so the biggest Achilles heel with the shotgun is the small magazine. Oh, <laughs> asking you you'll get or should I say that yeah well the small magazine and the small amount of ammo you can actually hold for it but hey I mean oh shit I didn't want to go out there but I ugh, that animation that you have to wait for him to take his mask off when you get out of the room it's like god damn it John John you're a dick Speed up, man. Okay, so. Oh. Is this... This isn't where we were in the start of the game, was it? Was it? Nah. Can't be. Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm confused now. Okay, so I don't know why there's so much poison gas in some of these rooms. Commun it's the communicator. It's broken. Well, that's less than ideal. So I guess we have to fix the communicator. Maybe. I will say so far, this game isn't very difficult. Oh, equipment room. I like a nice equipment room, especially when it's full of that there equipment. You know, the equipment that we can use to shoot things. Oh, hello. Oh. Who is it? Uh. Who are you? My name is Ken Fujiyama. I work for the Shirahata Corporation. What? what are you doing here? I was collecting monitor data on my company's products. Are you from a rescue team? Yes. I was hiding you there, a monster. 
Have you come to save me? Yes, but I have to return to the CCD area. For that, I need your torch. Excuse me, but I can't trust you because you might be a monster. Let's make a deal. A deal? You want this torch. I'll give it to you. In return, give me something I can use. I don't have any money. Oh, no, not money. <laughs> what? I want this monster data on the big gym. The big gym? Any special? Water diving wear. It's my company. Latest product. I don't know where the monitor data is. I want you to look for it with them. Don't you think? <sighs> okay, I'll look for it. Please copy. It's on to this. Wait here. Okay, so I think we've got to copy some data for him. I couldn't because of his comical accent, which would probably be deemed racist these days, and the low quality of the, the sound, uh, I couldn't really understand much of what he said. I think something about copying data for something, and he's not going to give us his that torch until we get it to him. Uh, I, I think he told us what data he wanted, but fuck if I know. Um, I just heard a load of... Right, okay. Please go put the data into the Modisk. I'll give you the torch later. Ah, uh, sure. I'll, uh, I'll do that for you. You know, I could just, like, shoot him in the face and take it anyway. Uh, I'm just saying. Big gym parts room. So far, I'm very disappointed in the amount of... Wait, we're underwater now. That's really jarring. Like, can we get the gun out as well? Like, how is the water perfectly sealed behind these these doors? How is any of this happening? Right, so we're in here. There has to be something in here, surely. Oof. I mean, that looks ominous. Seawater must have leaked in from this crack. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, uh, I guess it did. Uh, now, about this crack. Is that important? Is anything in this room important? Is this important? No? I guess not. I guess this is a whole r empty room of nothing. Maybe if we get his torch, we can seal up the crack, but I doubt it. Hmm. Okay, so that leaves us with one room. I like the way that water just is so kind. It just sits there and waits behind that door. It's very, very nice of it. I mean, I've, there's no... It doesn't look like there's any kind of airlock between each of these doors. It just it, that really, really like if we're gonna split hairs here, that really doesn't make any sense. I'm just saying, just pointing it out. Water physics don't work that way. Right, so now we have to copy some data from somewhere for something. Go to floor two, yes, question mark. I don't think we've been to floor two here yet, have we? Now, admittedly, most of these um, go do these things quests. Uh, the objective has never been that far away, so. Okay. So, fresh rooms for exploring. Ah, uh, I mean, I guess we could throw some air grenades around, but there isn't really a lot of point. Oh, Anna's room. Now, we've already seen Anna's. Ooh, Anna. 
Okay, I wasn't expecting to be able to just walk into her room and she'll be here. That's interesting. Uh, hey, Anna, do you have... Aren't you in a hurry to get to the CCD area? Don't worry about me. All right. Yeah, 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 cool, Anna. I'm just trying to see if you've got any, like, shotgun shell cases around. You've obtained manual for Big Jim. Okay. So what the hell is the Big Jim? 1992 uh, stands for atmospheric diving system. Right, I think that's what he was talking about. And is a term for deep sea high pressure diving suits and armor. Jim type uh, four was developed by the Shin Shinhata Heavy Industries. And its most distinctive feature is the whole suit is plated with a compound titanium, making the weight approximately 30% lighter than its predecessor. Also, the thickness of the wall of the suit itself is much thinner. This allows more free and advanced movement of the joints. The left arm can be equipped with a detachable unit, ARU, such as an underwater burner, rock scraping device, or a spear gun. Yeah, we need that. In order to use gym type 4, a user must enter a serial number. Not only is this a security system from theft, it prevents accidents caused by uncertified users. Okay, sweet. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of exercise equipment here. Lots of weights. She's pretty, pretty mean. She'll probably do bad things to us if we don't leave. I like my spine the way it is. Ah, we're on half an hour, guys. Damn it. Looks like we're going to have to end the video here. Okay, I think we actually are going to have to end the video here, guys. I'm going to have to give it a save. Um, interesting stuff. So, he doesn't trust us for some reason. I just, like, okay. <laughs> sure, whatever. I mean, you know, the place has gone crazy. Everybody's dying. There's a virus uh, taking over everybody's cells, turning them into giant monsters. Uh, but he doesn't trust us. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll let him we'll let him have that one for now. So when we come back, guys, I guess we're going to try and find some way of copying this manual to disk, which I'm guessing is what he wants. Uh, maybe there's some kind of photocopier somewhere around. I don't know. Maybe we just give him the manual, but then it's not on the disc. Huh. Anyway, we've got a couple more rooms to explore. So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.